Hey there you guys, this is Prince Koala and today we are finally going to take a look at the game Dawn of War Soulstorm. In this video I'm going to talk about Warhammer 40k in general, explain a little bit all the different races there are in this universe, in this game, um, to be more precise, as there are more races in the universe that then are uh, covered in just this game but the main races are going to be in this game so that is all good after that we're gonna play also some uh, some gameplay yeah against the computer so you get a feeling for the game before I start just uh, just giving you online battles or whatsoever so this is a nice little introduction to the game so let's get going I'm gonna use the campaign mode here to lean all the different races and yeah there we go so we have this uh, this board here where you can uh, where you can view all the different races and characters so I'm gonna start right off with the Imperial Army um, well yeah the setup around Warhammer 40k is basically far far away in the future as it says 40k is around the year date that this um, all of this is taking place and the humans have survived so we can have a little bit a little bit of faith in our humanity <laughs> um, it is the Imperial Army which are um, is the human race you can say as a similar race to Space Marines I'm gonna take a look at um, as the next faction but for the Imperial Army um, basically that is just uh, what humans are good with we are not the strongest creatures the other other races are um, physically rather stronger and we are a rather physically weak faction but we do have the ability to build uh, nice armored tanks and good solid defenses and everything so that is the strength of the Imperial Army there their uh, tank forces and yeah rather than their infantry so that is um, yeah another thing I'm gonna take a look at all the strength and weaknesses of each faction so yeah let's take a look at these space marines these are some kind of elite humans that have went through a special training and joined the uh, the Space Marine Order. They are also a bit f um, genetically manipulated humans, so they are not mere strong humans. They are uh, manipulated to in order to be more durable and stronger. They are usually highly armored. They are the, they are the uh, perfect all-around race in this game. They're easy to play, so if you start playing this, I definitely recommend you starting with the Space Marines as they are easy to handle. And yeah, basically in the universe, these uh, Space Marines are, as well as the uh, um, the Imperial Guard, worshippers of the Emperor as, as their god. And uh, they they try to wipe out any evil aliens in the universe and protect the Imperial Army so you can say the Imperial Guard the Imperial Army and the Space Marines are allied forces although they do have some kinds of disputes sometimes but in general they work together on the other side of the Space Marines there's the Chaos Space Marines um, those are basically Space Marines that in the Big Brother War has separated themselves from the Space Marines and ever since then they are the worst enemies and they fight each other all day and wherever chaos is showing up to kill and to spread death and misery the Space Marines are going to show up to fight them and wipe them out which is basically the setup that happens a lot so if you're playing the tabletop chaos space marines versus space marines is a pretty common matchup and yeah the chaos space marines are worshippers of the chaos gods obviously which are very corrupt and also um, 
yeah, the, the humans in general are very vulnerable to to uh, fall for the chaos and join the chaos. So basically, it's uh, these guys are humans or weak-minded space marines that are joining the order in, in order to to be to to gain greatness and power by the chaos gods. Next, I'm going to take a look at the Eldar which you could compare to some kind of elves. I don't know. For example, in Lord of the Rings, you can compare them to the uh, to the elves. I think they're called like that in, in English. <laughs> and they're the very, a very old and ancient race that is uh, pretty close to extinction. Basically, because they won't work together with anyone, and uh, I don't know, it's it's just a, a very ancient and non-modern um, race, very spiritual, very, um, very, you can say smart, because they have been around in the universe for such a long time. They can teleport through the warp, which is. Uh, uh, it's hard to describe what the warp is, but basically that is a a a space. It, it's a it's a space um, that is in another dimension, and that with cert uh, certain technology and knowledge enables people to travel through it. But if you are not, if you don't know what you're doing. Um, in the warp you can get lost and uh, corrupted and you can fall to some weird chaos monsters that are luring around in the warp so it's a pretty pretty deep pretty deep warhammer stuff that right there which uh, you don't have to understand to enjoy playing this game obviously so you can ca compare these elder to to elves very noble and uh, ancient race right there they're pretty good at, uh, at um, you, can, you can say skirmish. They're good, uh, good, good range forces, good infantry, solid, solid tanks. In order, in regard of uh, dealing damage, they're not as solid as, for example, the Space Marine tanks. And uh, yeah, they also have the awesome Avatar, which is basically a huge massive fire lord and uh, some kind of demon that they that is something like god to them so that is the elder forces um, apart from them we have the dark elder which is uh, basically just the evil version of the elder some kind of of a clan that as well as the chaos space marines and space marines that separated from them I don't know too much about the history between these two, but uh, basically the Dark Elder are some some sort of uh, vampire-touched army. They have a lot of melee forces, and uh, they look pretty weird. And yeah, basically they are just showing up to to kill some people where they easily can. They they avoid big battles and rather just. Uh, yeah, rather just come to a battlefield once uh, two f two factions have two two parties have battled each other, and re then the uh, Dark Elder came to kill whoever has survived. And um, yeah, you can compare it to the Warhammer Fantasy Universe, the universe that is going to be covered in the Warhammer Total War game that is coming. That we have the High Elves, which are which can be compared to the Elder, and we have the Dark Elves, which can, of course, compared, can be compared to the Dark Elder. Then another race, race we have the Necrons, which are, they're basically undead skeletons that rely on a unknown source of power some type of energy that is pouring life into these uh, constructions of metal these guys are pretty tough pretty insane hard to stop hard to shift but they are pretty slow 
so that is a little weakness of theirs but they are very very durable and uh, definitely a hard faction to, to fight against also they are pretty ancient so the setup in the warmer 40k universe is usually that they are sleeping in some sort of dungeons under the surface of the planet and when there are some people on the surface fighting then all of a sudden the Necrons wake up and they go to the surface to kill anybody in their way. Then of course we have the Orcs. I think I don't have to explain too much about these guys. Green, big, bulky guys, strong in melee. They have some decent missile, some, some uh, decent ranged units but basically they are pretty chaotic. Um, extraordinary melee fighters with some nice special forces for example they have a massive big squigafund is it called it's a mix between a rhino a dinosaur and an elephant it is uh, just huge and yeah they, these guys are pretty funny and yeah I think you all know orcs from any fantasy setup any book you read any uh, any fantasy stuff and of course they, they they just can't miss out on any Warhammer setup and also we have a new faction to this game the Adeptus Sororitas Sisters of Battle um, they are pretty religious also worshippers of the Emperor and also allied with uh, Space Marines and fighting together with the Imperial Guard in order to uh, bring greatness to the Emperor and wipe out all aliens and uh, chaos traitors who prefer their chaos gods over their chaos gods over the of the Emperor God stuff like that they are pretty solid similar to the Space Marines but uh, rather than being uh, solid all around they are pretty uh, anti-infantry strong and I think I don't know too much about them, but it's. I think it's harder to get early anti-tank forces. Last but not least, we have the Tau, which is um, technology-wise probably the most advanced race. Um, I think it's unknown how the creatures actually look like that are behind these... Uh, big armor suits that they are wearing but it's a pretty it's a it's a race that relies on on shooting power they only have a few um few miss what, what's it called melee units and they basically rely on their long range um the devastating long range weapons so if you can get these guys into stuck into combat you are going to win but it is pretty hard to get there. So that is the races in Warhammer 40k Dawn of War Soulstorm. And now let's go ahead and take a little look at the gameplay. To do that I'm just gonna um, pop up with a 6 player, some random 6 player. Uh, there you go. Just wanted to change the map. Let's take just a map that looks somewhat nice. Basically any is fine. Let's just take this one. Um, let's uh, go ahead and take these space marines. And then we can... They have the different... Um, the different space marine uh, clans. The different orders. And you can also paint your own... Uh, forces where however you like to have them <coughs> I'm sorry I'm gonna go ahead with the ultramarines which is the um, biggest and most important uh, clan of the space marines and for the rest we are just gonna have them on a random and uh, yeah let's go with a 2 versus 2 versus 2 I'm not gonna play all through this game I just wanted to give you an idea of how this real-time strategy game works. You can compare it to um, 
Age of Empires 2 and 1 are probably games that everyone knows. And it's pretty similar. You have your headquarter, you have your um, your first building right there. Um, your base. Then you can build some barracks, uh, some early scout troopers, which are um, the very first infantry units that you can uh, that you can take here. So uh, you have your early infantry right there. And now what you want to do is um, capture these control points in order to uh, to increase your um, your blue resources right there. I don't know what, what it's called in English. So in order to do that, capture these uh, control points. Obviously all the other players are also trying to gain control over as much of these control points as possible. You have the map right there, you can see them as little dark blue points. Now the construction of the barracks is um, finished. We can have our builder now to build a plasma generator which increases our energy. This is the, um, the green re resource right there. And then we have our ally, we can watch him. He's got the barracks. So he's doing pretty similar stuff. Building early units, building his barracks and stuff. And we can go ahead and build our first space marine trip, uh, space marine, space marine squad, which are very um, and durable guys. As mentioned before, they are good in melee, good in, good in, mist, good in, uh, you know, um, in shooting. So the perfect, the perfect all-around fighters. And very soon we're gonna take a look at them. There they pop out. Right there. there they are. The Space Marines. So these guys are pretty solid. Very good early game uh, unit you can take right there. And uh, we can go ahead and try to capture a relic. Which is a special, um, a special control point that enables you to uh, later on build your strongest unit. Every race has a special unit, and uh, in order to recruit it, you need to capture and uh, afterwards hold a relic. And actually, let's go for this relic right there because it is closer to our our ally. He's being confronted to Banshees, which are some melee forces of the Eldar. And uh, we can go ahead and recruit our commander. Each race has him has the main commander and as well as, well as some other commanders that you can take later on. Yeah. We're just gonna continue right there and uh, continue to to uh, enforce our economy, capturing control points. And uh, once you once you got some uh, some control points, you need to make. Oh, so now we are fighting right there. You can reinforce your troop right there. This little click here right there make will make them to uh, hold their terrain. So we are fighting elder forces. These are guardists. As you see, they are more, but they are a little bit weaker than our space marines are. And uh, what you always want to do is to have your builders um, build these posts on top of your of your control posts. So, to just to um, make your to to defend them, so they can't just uh, go and decap your control points but there we're still fighting these uh, elder forces but it seems like we're winning so they are going to retreat and after we kill that guy I think we should be able to kill him yeah so the squad leader is dead and uh, now we can soon go ahead and capture this relic with our scouts I would say and yeah this is basically what this game is all about then you later on take up in order to uh, 
get better units to get vehicles as well. So we tech up to tier 2. Later on we can tech up to tier 3 to get our most powerful units. Each race works a little differently. There's a tutorial that explains uh, everything that I just explained. So if you are interested in this game, I definitely recommend you playing the tutorial because everything is going to be explained right there. The space screens are being uh, into some uh, into some base of the enemy, so that is something we don't want. And then you see the uh, elder forces stuck into combat with the orcs, so they're gonna die pretty quickly, as you see right there. The orcs are very um, Really effective as mentioned before <coughs> and yeah this is the game this is dawn of war soulstorm i hope you enjoyed and got a uh, enjoyed watching this video and got a nice little feeling for it and uh i see you in the next videos when it's going to be some online battles or uh Whatsoever, maybe some someone of you who has this game just wants to play me and we can make a little do a commentary whatsoever. You're gonna see this game on my channel. I really enjoy it and it's very uh, tactical. It is a very nice game, very nice real-time strategy game. And uh, it also relies on a good micro and a good overview and uh, a lot of strategy as well so that is warhammer 40k which is uh, as you see very different to the warhammer fantasy the one that is going to be covered in uh, the warhammer total war game but nevertheless it gives you a feeling for the general setup of uh, the Warhammer universe. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching and I see you in the next one. Cheers.